When you're in the business of entertainment and you aren't allowed to entertain people, that is a very big problem. And Illich Holdings admitted as much today. The company announced furloughs and layoffs are coming to staff at Comerica Park, Little Caesars Arena, and the Fox Theater. Local 4 Business Editor Rod Maloney is live outside Comerica Park tonight with a look at what's happened and where the companies go from here, Rod. Well, you know, it's one of those things where as a business in general, you can't operate without revenue. And if you don't have crowds, and that's what they're in the business of developing crowds, uh, they have to do something. They've held on for as long as they can, they say. And so today they pulled the trigger on layoffs. Another level. Tiger spring training started, played a few games and shut down by mid-March, left Lakeland's Joker Martian empty. The Tigers played only 28 games at Comerica this year to empty seats. Little Caesars Arena sits silent too. Illich Holding saying it's lost 200 event dates so far this year. He had previously put a million dollars into a fund along with another million from Major League Baseball to pay part-time help. But now the money's run out and it's the end of the line, says Entertainment Group President Chris Granger, who put out this email today to employees, quote, our industry was the first to shut down and most likely will be one of the last to return. Indeed, even as capacity restrictions are relaxed, we remain severely limited in our ability to welcome back guests in any meaningful way. It is in this environment that we have had to make the difficult decision with respect to our business operations to put in place some temporary furloughs as well as layoffs, end quote. I'm uh, surprised it took this long. Business analyst Ken Dalto tells Local 4 COVID's economic impact is just really beginning to hit, and it will hit hard, especially in the hospitality and entertainment business. Many of them will not reopen, and I think there will be a permanent reduction in Illich and people of his size and uh, the kind of business he's in. There'll be a permanent reduction going into the future of their size. And he says that if they can get back up and running to full capacity, it's going to take a while, like perhaps a year or maybe even more. So he says that for the people who had been laid off, it's a sad day. Uh, and even though uh, Congress might come up with another uh, stimulus package, uh, they may have to go find another line of work, another part time job, because there may not be one for them down the line. Back yeah, it's, well, speaking of that, Rod, did, did they talk about the prospects of these laid off workers possibly getting their jobs back? Well, yes, uh, the company is saying, look, we, we want to bring you back. We certainly want to be up and running at full capacity as soon as humanly possible. And they said to their people that they've had to lay off that we want you back. We would like to bring you back. The question is when and nobody knows right. when that will be. Everything's so uncertain. Okay, Rod, thank you.